Hello there, welcome to the Tower Academic. Uh, this is Physics. Uh, in our lesson today, we are going to talk about the electric bell. An electric bell is one of the applications of electromagnets. Uh, in 1830 uh, to 1850, Johann Philipp Warner, Christian Ernest Neff, and John Myrand invented the first electric bell. This bell was used as a telegraph sounder. From then, more developments evolved and many other applications were realized. Below are some of the areas where electric bells are used or applied, among which include colleges, schools, washing machines, microwave ovens, security systems, digital watches, video recorders, etc. What an amazing device, the electric bell. Uh, having looked at the impact of the electric bell towards technological advancement and development in the world, let's now go ahead to expound on the mode of operation or the action of an electric bell, uh, including a circuit diagram. Now, on my right, there is a diagram well labeled. This is the circuit diagram of an electric bell. Uh, it consists of a gong, a hammer, a soft iron armature on which the hammer is attached, a contact screw, and a springy metal. So in between these two, we have a contact. We have the cell which provides the electric current. We have a switch which completes the circuit. Then a soft iron core on which an insulated wire is wound. This soft iron core is going to act as our magnetic material which will form an electromagnet. Uh, let the fun begin by looking at the action of this bell. Uh, when the switch is pressed, this is our switch, pressing the switch means that you have a complete circuit. Why do we, what do we expect? Current flows through the circuit and conventional current flows from the positive terminal of the cell to the negative terminal as demonstrated here. That's how the current is going to flow through the circuit. Looking at the current flow, this makes the soft iron core to become an electromagnet. I think we know electromagnets. If you're not sure, then I refer you to the previous lesson. We talked about the electromagnets in detail. Okay, now. This makes the soft iron core an electromagnet, like I said. And these green lines represent the magnetic field pattern. This makes this end north and the upper end south. We saw that in the previous lesson. Now, the magnet is having an attractive power. Therefore, this soft iron armature will get attracted to the magnet. Let's see. Uh, during the attraction of the soft iron armature, we see the hammer hitting the gong. Uh, when the hammer hits the gong, automatically sound will be heard. And looking at the attraction here, we can clearly see that the springy metal moves away from the screw, which makes the contact open or broken. Therefore, current will not flow through this circuit and the electromagnet loses its magnetism. Upon that, the spring or the spring metal pulls the hammer back to its original position and what you see, contact is again made. This process will continue, hence a continuous ringing sound will be heard. This is what I mean. 
Wow. Good. Data for thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Let's make this interactive for more educative videos. Please subscribe. Goodbye.